Alrighty, folks. I'm uh back in the shed. Tolerably cool in here, but not really. So, got a fan going. I don't think y'all can hear it, but we're going to teach you how to uh, do a little four strand round braid today. Round braid. So, uh, I'm just going to hop into it. I just kind of got y'all kind of straddling this mic here. Just so it's kind of more up close and personal. But we're just using this just demonstration. Turn it into a keychain or some BS later. But generally, how I start out, you can do this two ways to get two different patterns. There's candy cane and then there's stripes. So we're just going to take that. Wrap that around, go through there, all right, I'm going to wrap that around, and go through there, all right, pull tight, all right, now again, take that one, Go behind and go like that. That's the hardest part about this whole thing is starting that thing. And, and getting your tension right. And we're going to pass that one back behind it. Through the middle. Just like that. Keeping tension. Through the middle, ow. We're, we're, this is kind of creating the uh, candy canes here. Behind, over the top. With this stuff right here, you got to be extra careful. You don't want to pull too hard, but you don't want to not some tension on it behind over making sure to kind of give these a pull there so you got a tight braid on it all right and this is pretty simple not much to it this would be handy for you know Chain, or if you want to attach a lanyard to your knife, that is better looking than just a strand of leather. Notice always tension. I'm always pulling to get a tighter braid. Right. Now if you got arthritis, I don't recommend you doing this because your hands are going to hurt after a while. All right. And it's all pattern. You can kind of see that that candy cane pattern really really good now keeping that flesh side down this is an eighth eighth inch strips Thong, if you will call it. Camera there. Take your time doing this too. This also applies to paracord, but we don't use paracord around here much, so 
All right, we're gonna call that the end of it so we can get some tail on it. All right. All right. This is the this is the hard part. You, you, this is the easy part. Doing any braiding right here, it, it's the finished knot. They still make this book, this same exact book with the same exact cover. You can get that at Tandy's. That was bought back in the 80s. That belonged to my dad. But, and you might, which we ain't got no tape around here, so you just have to. It's wise to tape this so you get a nice knot, but. Usually what I do is, or just, I think this is a Turk's head, all right, and I'm going to kind of bunch that right there, pull this on, poke that through there, and then poke this over that one, poke that through there. And then kind of tighten up here. Gently tighten as you go. You want this pretty snug. There we go. Come on with it. Made that one tighter for a better finished product too. And that gets that all tied up in there. I need to pull on that one a little bit, but that gets this tight in here. All right, and it helps if you have an all. This is the all I got. It's very sharp point to it. But from here, what you're going to do is take your strands here. And I can see I've cut them to a point right there. So they'll slide up in there easier. And this is it's pretty difficult. But And you poke them under. Kind of kind of up under and then through the middle. All right. See that? All right. And then follow this one around, fold up under. And see if I can't. Kind of persuade that thing up in there. All right. And this one. See how I'm poking through there? I'm poking up under through here and then into here. So it lays it right up into the middle. Go like that, and then this one. Just to make sure I didn't mess up here. Going straight through there. See if we can do it. Come on. Last one's always the trickiest one just because that thing's tight right in there you have to find your hole
and then poke her through just like that. Yeah. And then, as always, kind of start gently pulling on these. Don't pull too hard because you can pull this stuff in too. All right. So now we have a finished Turk's head on the end of that. Hang with those fingernails. Those look gross. And it's tight. You you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna get that undone. And for another video I'll I'll show you how to dress up the other end when you what, whatever you're connecting this to, I'll, I'll show you how to dress that up. But there you go. And then pocket knife, because I like to leave it a little tail on this. All right. See on this one, left quite a bit of tail on it. Put some knots on it. Go, go to your desired tail length and and just like they are i'm gonna uh, kind of i'm gonna match these two right here up with these two like that like yeah Then that should be about it. Might be perfect, but cut a little bit more off. That's why I love two blade trapper too. I got that one bunched up there. There you go. Now you have a finished straight and it's tight. Braided braided lanyard what it whatever keychain whatever you want to do with it it's always e nice to put a little leather preservative on it or something just to get it pliable i'm just using the, just a wax base beeswax based preservative just to kind of one get give it a little bit of character and it's going to protect it from any any splitting or and bre breakage your, your, your breakage of your uh of your string okay, clean that up There you go. It it's it's straight. It's tight. It's not going to come unraveled with that Turk set on it. And it looks good too. It looks better than just a strand connected to the end of your fixed blade or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I, I hope you enjoyed. I'm, I hope some of you you fellers out there got some fixed blades that you can. Uh, Throw something a little better looking on there than just a piece, two strand, whatever strung on there. You know, give it a little class. Over time, this is going to come become so pliable that it, it's just going to be smooth and it won't stick straight out. But and you can use different material and stuff on it. Uh, we're we're running out of time here. I don't want to take up too much time. 
but I'll kind of demonstrate how to throw a little knot on the end of this just to class it up a little bit. Make it look a little bit classier, but anyway. Thanks, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff or anything else on my channel, subscribe. We're always going to try to put something out at least once or twice a week for everybody. So, uh, anyway. Thanks, folks. We'll see you on the next one.